Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope all of you are doing super well. And if you're watching this video on the weekend, don't forget to relax on the weekend and you know de-stress yourself. Of course, you're working for so many hours during the week and you're really stressing during the week and you have so much of work just on your head. So it's very important that you sit back for the weekend, you relax. It's okay if you're not going anywhere out. It's okay if you're not doing anything fun. Just remember to relax and to even laze out. That's okay. As long as you just give yourself that rest and you calm down your mind and your body, you just chill out, relax and help your entire self to heal as well. So with that said, there's this little information I just wanted to give you, which is very short and it's about risk. So whenever there's a feature or solution that we kind of think about as product teams, most of the teams, they immediately jump into what are the technical risks. And that's very common because most of us do that. And um, of course, technical risks are very important to mitigate and analyze. But apart from that, there are some risks that we might look into or we might not look into or maybe we just don't know that we have to look into. And that's what I'm going to tell you. So the very first risk is financial risk. You need to analyze and see whether the business can afford to build that solution that you're thinking of building. And the next one is um, business risk. So business risk is something where you need to check and see whether the solution you're building really aligns and works for your business partners. So many of the times you're building a solution but people feel that you know it's really not necessary. So it's very important that you align with stakeholders and business partners to see whether it works for everyone. And the next risk is marketing risk. So it's very important again that you check whether your solution and whatever you're building matches with your organization's brand. The next one is sales risk. So it's important. Imagine your team working on this super exciting feature or solution. You put in so much of time, cost and effort and resources are all onboarded for this. And finally it's launched and it's maybe on the shelf, but what happens if you don't get sales for it? Or what happens if your sales team is not equipped to do a sales for that? Then that's kind of a risk. So it's important that you check whether your product can be sold out in the market and whether it's giving you enough of return of investments. The next risk is legal and compliance. Of course, you need to look into if there would be any legal or compliance issues that might come up when a solution is released or whether any um, feature has some legal or compliance side of things. So it's important to consult with legal and compliance teams in case there's any risks involved. And it's important that you mitigate these things, you analyze these things earlier than later on in your project. And the last one is ethical risk kind of a very important one I would say given now where everyone builds apps and solutions and features it's very important first as product teams to sit down and think whether your solution and product is really necessary to be built or should you really be building that solution there's an ethical side of it so it's important as well I would say that's kind of the first thing that teams should really sit down and look into before building the product so usually teams they have all these kind of figured out some teams they give more priority to the technical risks and some teams they don't analyze these risks it's just the technical risks that they analyze and then later on in the project they come to know that there's some other risk involved so it's important that you look at all these risks and your team you know kind of identifies the risk that might be involved with the solution and if you know that ahead, then I think your team is well set enough. So I hope that you got some um, information on these different types of risks. And if you like this video, please do give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to my channel and also do share your feedbacks. And don't forget to have a happy and a very relaxed weekend. Thank you.